Hello, a lot of people are having problems with doing an LT1 balancer removal and installation without damaging their crank. And it was, I'm a mechanic and it was difficult for me at first. So I decided to make this video and go ahead and mock up the tools to show you what you're going to need, how to inspect the balancer, how to pull the balancer, and how to reinstall it. Quick and easy, not wasting a whole bunch of time, but doing it right and efficiently. So here we go, I'm going to rock and roll, we're going to show you the video, get into it. Okay, I went ahead and mocked the tools up. This is my 96 SS Camaro, I just got done painted. So I'm going to show you what's up. Here is the balancer remover tool. I have it set up so you can remove, <clears throat> remove the harmonic balancer. These three bolts go through the balancer with a nut on the back there. As you can see, I have it set up perfectly for you. Put You take your three bolts out of the balancer. As you can see, one, two, three. These three go in, one. The nut will be on the back here, be on the back. The front will go. You'll loosen this up, you'll tighten this. Now, here's the problem that most people have. This is the factory harmonic balancer bolt right here. That's the factory one. Well, a lot of people uh, press it, but when they press this bolt, they can only get it off so far. So what I've learned that works is a longer bolt. I'm gonna get this next to the factory one. You wanna have the same exact thread pitch on the bolt. You want it a little longer. I believe that's two and a half, three inches. And I got one even longer. Um, but this is the one that you're going to need. I'm going to show you also, if you go to press it on, you will damage your crank. You see the bolt there? You have to have a threaded tool. This threaded tool is 7 16 by 20 by 36, the threaded rod. You need the nuts and the washers when you install it. You need a, a, a long piece of it. I can make three tools with this, but this is the proper thing so you don't strip the threads on your harmonic balancer. I'm going to make another video showing you how to use this when installing your harmonic balancer. Now the balancer here, I'm going to show you, this is my factory balancer. There was something I noticed I didn't like. If you can see the rubber here is separating. I'm going to try to show you on a better angle here. But the rubber separating there, yes, that would probably work. This car's got 120,000 miles. and But I don't like putting stuff like that on where that might separate and come out. Inspect your balancer while you go. You know what I mean? Check it out. Make sure it, you know, it's a good, viable piece. It's something you want to put back in. See, the back's just like that. It's probably fine. But I decided while I was doing this job, why put that old balancer on that's 20 plus years old? This is 1996. So I went ahead and decided I wanted to upgrade while I was at the point. I got this aftermarket assault racing balancer. It's a pretty nice piece. It was a little bit over 120 bucks. And I went ahead and bought the underdrive pulley, the underdrive crank pulley, which should attach to the front of uh, the crank. And I figured I'd grab 10, 15 horsepower extra. I think this retains the stock belt. Um, so I basically wanted to show you a real quick tip on, you know, things you can do once your balancer goes out and grab a little bit more horsepower, probably 10 horsepower for sure, and um, how to take it off. Like I say, with a longer bolt, you thread it all the way in with the tool, and um, then you push this back piece in, and it's going to come out. Um, if you have to step up to this one, make sure your fan shroud is off because you're going to need the extra distance for this bolt because this is going to kick this up against your electric fans. So just be weary of that. You can do this. Uh, it gets tricky because, like I say, this shorter bolt won't work. One more reminder. You see this? You don't want this happen to threads on your crank tearing threads out. So, when you go back, you get the rotted thread rod, fine, zinc, made in Malaysia. 
get some washers, two or three nuts, you're good to go. You have your install tool. You don't have to do anything else to it. You, you can push your, a new balancer back on, make everything work. Everything should be good to go. go. The seas will be golden. Like, watch, subscribe, and share. Thanks.